All right, guys, welcome back to the final episode of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. I do think this is the final episode. We've played for a pretty decent amount of time, and the game is only about four hours long, so I walk tunnels where no human has trod before. I am sure of that. It is just me and him now. Frost forms on my coat sleeves. The deathly still in the freezing air tells me I am close. Yeah, so we are pretty close to the end of the game here. I'm oh, I'm like 99% sure this is the end um, in this video. So uh, we'll do kind of a... I'll kind of talk about the game after we are done here. Let's go on in here. Nothing here. But why did you take my children? I, Mandus, of all the blood we have spilled together. The first drops fell from your hands alone. Then I am damned for a filicide. And everything is lost. Oh, Jesus. game has really good sounds. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hiccuping all of a sudden. That's where I came from. Where am I going? Oh, did he fall? How did he die? this just useless? I don't know. Oh. In here. Okay. Further into the belly of the beast we go. Why did you open that for me? It, there's gonna be one of them in here. What is that? Oh no. Nope. I am good. I'm good. No. I hear the fast footsteps. I don't like it. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know where it is. I hate it, 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 I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it more than anything. I hate it so unbelievably much. Stop, 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 stop. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. it out yeah how did it see me first of all and I don't know how to get away from that what is that thing you're gonna throw a different type of enemy at me right away screw that noise Nope. 
I am running so fast right now. I literally can't see where it is. Is it gone? Is it gone? I hope it's gone. I'm I'm going. I I'm just walking it, man. Okay, good. No more of those. I don't know what that thing was. I'm just going. I'm going. I'm going. going i'm done mandis descending among the spirits blood mandis we are seeped in ste steeped in blood you and i you wear me like a mask and we will tear the future loose from the rib cage of the present we will save them we will save them all i don't think we're doing anything like that i think we're doing exactly none of that how have i only been recording for six and a half minutes that doesn't seem right i did that whole thing in six and a half minutes it's because i'm just running at this point only to save you only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loan. Oh, my children. My children. What have I done? What have I become? Where am I? That's a better question. Am I in the sky or am I, I underground? Right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted. All of my sins washed clean. I don't know about that one. I love you, my darlings, and I am sorry. I am sorry for all I have done. I simply loved you all too much for this world. I loved you too much for this world. Mandis is alone. I search for instruction, for advice, for help in my goals, but in return the system mocks me. Simpleton, it says, you must find your own answers now. I heard something snorting. Mantis, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. What a what a what what just happened? Are you serious with this thing again? Are you serious? You actually have got to be joking me right now. I'm just running. I'm going. I'm going, man. I'm going. I'm gone. Go. Why are you teleporting me? What is am, am I Nightcrawler? Am I Nightcrawler? I don't know what is happening to me at this point. I'm just getting thrown around like a rag doll. <sighs> I have no idea where I'm going. That's the weirdest dildo I've ever seen. Is that did I do good? Oh, this is this is lovely. I'm doing something. I have you now, creature. I will destroy you. Stop him! Stop him! Kill him! It is over. It is time to end this madness. Is it? I wish I could see anything. Everything's kind of blurry, not gonna lie. 
you keep blurring everything and making it really nauseous to look at. Is there something in there? It doesn't even look like there's anything in there. Enoch, Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. Or, wait, what? Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. Why did I say Enoch twice? I don't know. My brain has turned into goop at this point. I've been playing- I played this entire game in one sitting, guys. I hope you know that. Madness, listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. to like kill this guy is that me is this all a dream Mandus, please i am no more evil than you we sought the same thing to save humanity ridding them of their painful stupid pointless lives Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. I am lost. Something for you. What? I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your hearts. I have no words. I just want to see what happens here. What am I about to do? Please Apparently, find the snow for your children. Is that one of them there? Oh, they're both there. Uh. 
What am I, Dr. Octopus? Whisper that in my ear. What is that? I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. I have no idea what just happened.
Is there anything after the credits here? Wow. Okay. So that was Amnesia a Machine for Pigs. Overall, I feel like it was a decent game. It was worth a playthrough. Did I understand the story? No. Um I the guy was turning people into pi man pigs. That's basically what I got from that. I have no idea. The guy was turning people into man pigs and he was delusional and then he thought that this guy talking to I don't know who the guy talking to him was I don't know what happened at the end with the things going into him I don't know why his sons were there the the story is really messy and that's the one thing that I really didn't like um, besides the blurring effect on your eyes like I didn't I didn't like that um, I just stopped moving whenever that happened basically but like the story just didn't make sense and like the the changing of locations constantly like yes i know outlast did that too like outlast outlast one was very good with that because it took place in an asylum so everything that you went to you know you went outside in like the yard and stuff and you went underground and you went around the entire asylum it felt like one big coherent map outlast 2 was a little bit different outlast 2 um went to like a bunch of different areas and you like started in one place and then you went down and there was like a f the forest area and then you went to um the the cabin with the weird looking guy and you kept going back and forth between the school and there was like a lot of weird stuff in outlast 2 um that made that one really weird and like the church and then you end up back at the church at the end and it's like how the heck did that just happen when we were just under like super far underground um amnesia i don't remember that much i know that if, like eventually you were in a place where everything was like tinted red and it was like big open and kind of foggy so that way you couldn't really see the monsters that far away um but this one it just felt like you were going like back and forth all the time like scene change scene change scene change you know like oh we're in you know our house and then we go underground and then we're above ground suddenly and we go to the church and then we go underground in the church and then we're above ground again suddenly and then we go to the factory and then we're below ground and then somehow, you know, we're super, we're so far below ground that the pressure probably would pop our heads at some point without like protective gear or something. We're so far underground with all this machinery. And then suddenly we're back up top on London and all chaos is breaking loose. And then we're back down below. And then we start teleporting around. Like it was just, it was a little too much in terms of hopping back and forth between the places the man pigs look cool i don't know what the heck that one thing was that appeared in this video it was only in this video that weird one with like the the like tesla coils or something on him i don't know what that was but that was it was cool looking but he kept flashing in and out of reality so you could never get a good view on where he was um so that was kind of weird overall not as good as amnesia the dark descent um not as good as outlast one or two but it was still decent and i still think it's worth a playthrough um if you liked amnesia the dark descent and you like games like outlast and stuff i still think that this would be a good playthrough um and actually weirdly enough there's not that many chase scenes you know i'm used to like like outlast one and that's i'm gonna com keep comparing it to outlast because that's it's in the same vein as outlast um so like in outlast one you had chase scenes sprinkled throughout pretty pretty consistently um and some of them were kind of hard to get through some of them weren't and here and like in, in outlast 2 um you had a ton of chase scenes like literally like 25 chase scenes a lot right and 
some of them were hard to get through some of them weren't you had it literally like 25 to 30 chase scenes in that one game it was a ton of you know things chasing you around um in amnesia one you got chased pretty frequently and you had to like hide in the closet or you had to like run into a room and close the door really quickly and then they'd start breaking down the door or something like that this one only maybe had like seven like between five to seven chases like actual real chases in it um and yeah it just it wasn't really a lot of that high intensity stuff and they used the um the 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 water monster but it was too short it was like like you you drop down into the thing and you see it start stepping in front of you so you're like oh i'm just gonna go backwards and you go backwards and the ladder's right there it wasn't like this big long chase scene that really got the adrenaline going and stuff like that it was like oh god i fell oh okay turn around go ladder okay we're safe now um yeah overall not as good as some of the more notable stuff like Amnesia 1, um, Outlast, Outlast 2, but still a decent game. Um, I don't think I would play through it again, um, but it wasn't bad. Like, I would recommend a playthrough, but you have to, you have to really like horror games to want to play this. Like, if this is not a game... If you're just trying to introduce someone to horror, maybe this would be a good game to start with because it's like there's not that many like scary scenes in it. But if I if someone said they didn't really like horror stuff, but they would let me pick a game that they play, I would say Outlast 1 immediately. Outlast 1. That's your go-to like introduction to a horror game. Um because Outlast 1 just has everything in it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's terrifying. There's fast paced moments. There's like real heart stopping moments. There's notable characters that you still remember to this day. Um, and I'm just not going to remember anyone from this game. Like, what am I going to remember? Mandis? The, the pigs? Maybe the pigs, but that's about it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series here that we had on the channel i did all of these videos in one day so they are going to be coming out over the course of probably the next month or so um but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed i really wanted to get to this game even though i knew it wasn't going to be as good as amnesia the dark descent i still wanted to play it and um i actually enjoyed it i i enjoyed it for what it was which was you know just if you just take it as a horror game you don't compare it to anything else it's a pretty good ride. It's confusing and the story doesn't make much sense, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, and also, the one thing I do want to mention is I think the lack of an inventory made a lot of these puzzles really easy. Like usually you'd have to like put things in your inventory. You may be able to combine certain things and then use that later on. Here, everything was just kind of given to you if you needed to use like to light a furnace there was coal right next to it it wasn't like there was coal back here and you had to pick it up and bring it here the coal was right next to it so you know a lot of the puzzles were really easy to do um which again i think amnesia one handled better because you could pick up the items and save them for later and you know pick up keys and stuff that may be useful later on um but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. If you want to see me do Amnesia Rebirth, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see if people want to play that because I heard that, you know, uh, Amnesia 1 is like really good and then 2 and 3 are kind of eh. So let me know if you want me to get Amnesia Rebirth. Um, I could check that out, but I don't actually have it right now, so I'd have to buy it. Um, but if you want to see me do like a little video series like this, on it, I could totally do that. And um, yeah. I'm glad this is done. Another one off the list of things that I wanted to get done in 2021. And um, yeah, it was a good ride. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, commenting and letting me know what you think about the game and everything. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there, guys. Take care of yourselves. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>